This is Cat's Diamond Painting. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've joined me here before. I'm here today to do a double unboxing just because this was one purchase that I made so I figured I would show them to you together. Um, so this goes back a few weeks now. Um, Diamond Art Club released two mystery kits on a Wednesday a few weeks ago, I can't remember the exact date. And one of them really called to me, so I wanted to buy that one. And I was buying it on points. Um, what I mean by that is that Diamond Art Club has a very generous reward structure, um, and I had quite a few points accumulated, and you can convert those into a voucher to give you a discount off paintings. So I was using that for this, and then I just figured this one, Mr. Whiskers, had recently been restocked, and I've been waiting for it to come back in, and I thought I would just clear out all of my points and get them both on a nice cheap order. So that is what I did. So I'm going to show these both to you today. Obviously this one here is a mystery kit and not everyone will want to see that. Um, so what I am going to do is I'm going to show you Mr Whiskers first and then I will clearly warn you when I'm going to get into the mystery kit. The way that I unbox mystery kits is that I'm not going to put up a picture to show you the exact image, although I do know what it is because I like to find out before I buy a mystery kit. But I will show you the canvas, I will show you the colours um, and it's, you know, sometimes it can be quite obvious looking at the canvas what the image is, sometimes it isn't, I don't know until I get into it. Um, so that's the level of spoilers that I will show you but I'll warn you when we're getting onto that one. So, um, I'm going to get into, get the, get the plastic cover off and then I will crack on with Mr Whiskers. Okay, so Mr. Whiskers is a round diamond painting, as you can see by the branding here, by the artist Marisha Becker. Um, diamond Art Club does carry, well, at least one other painting by this artist because I have it and I really like it. I'm not sure if they have any others, but I find her artwork fabulous. It's very, very neat. This sort of abstract element and the bright colors, those are the things that I'm drawn to like a magpie. So it's 50.7 by 63.9 centimetres, so a kind of medium sized painting. And let's get stuck in. Oh, <laughs> that fudded down a bit. And now I'm bashing into my tripod. Okay, so the small sticker that comes in a Diamond Art Club box, I like to put on the side of the box because I store them in a cupboard where they fit best sideways on, so that's how I can see what I'm reaching for. I will have a quick look at this toolkit. I probably won't go into detail on the other toolkit because they are broadly speaking similar, although some bits do vary. But I'll have a quick whiz through this one. This is a round toolkit, so it won't have tweezers, but other than that, you should have the same items in every toolkit. And just very occasionally, if you're buying a painting from Diamond Art Club that's quite old stock, that's been there for a while, you may get their older style toolkit, which comes in a clear white bag, and it just has a few less items in. It's got all the things you need, it's just not got so many added extras. So, you get a roll of baggies, you get a pen and matching comfort grip. You'll get a tray and stopper, this little plastic bit here. Sometimes people aren't quite sure it's a stopper for the tray so that you can just shake your drills around to line them up a bit more and, and they're just a little less likely to fall out. You'll get a little caddy like this with, let me turn that over so the camera doesn't keep trying to focus on it. <laughs> Um, with two plates of heart-shaped pink wax. It's quite a nice thick pink wax. Um, it does the job pretty well. And I've got two places here, a four and a seven place. So the four looks to have, yeah, it's got just a little bit, I don't know if you can see, um, a little bit of excess plastic sticking up on the end. That does happen sometimes. You can just fix that with a nail file. File it right down and then you'll have a flat edge again. And I have some washi tape. Washi tape is one of the things like pen colour that will vary from kit to kit. So even if you buy this exact, 
this exact same kit, you, you will likely get different washi tape. It's useful for sectioning up your painting or covering the edges so that they don't pick up fluff. And my cover minder. I've had a couple of these roses again recently. They used to be in them for a while and then they disappeared for a while. <laughs> I guess they're, they're making a return again. It's a very pretty colour. Magnets all working fine. So cover minders hold the plastic cover of your painting out of your way. You just connect these bits through the painting and it holds it out of the way for you. Okay, let me pack all this away. Right, moving on to the best part. So I'm just trying to get into this dust cover without ripping it. Sometimes I have more success than other times. That one was all right. And I'm going to tip all the bits that are in the middle out before I show you the canvas. So you'll get a thank you for your purchase leaflet, uh, lots of useful tips and tricks, discount codes, links to various social media things. So do check this out if this is your first time buying from Diamond Art Club. And here's my sticker sheet. So I love companies that provide a sticker sheet like this because I like to use all these on my um, storage pots, which I think is what most of us do with them. I know some people like to keep them intact, but for me, that just saves me a job having to label my, my storage pots in another way. So I can see I've got 54 colours, quite a lot of dark colours, which I suppose when you look at the picture, you're drawn to the brighter colours around here, but actually this side of it, there's a lot of shadow going on, isn't there? So that makes sense. And there are five AB drills. AB drills are Aurora Spor... <laughs> not that at all. They are Aurora Borealis drills. Um, and they're just normal drills that then have this extra coating on the top. And the coating, um, sometimes it's rainbow colours, sometimes it's, it's silvery. It can be all sorts of things. And it just, it draws your attention more. It creates accents in the painting. Um, and I really enjoy the effect of them. So, here's my drill pack. They look so pretty, don't they, when they're all done up in this nice sausage of drills. And I'm going to see if I can find some of those ABs to show you without actually getting them all out. Right, let me open it up. Okay, I'm trying to minimise any crinkling, <laughs> but you know, I, apologies if you really hate the plastic crinkling noises. It won't last for too long. Um, so I can see a lovely purple AB here. Isn't that pretty? And then up here I see... Ooh, I don't think I've had that one before. Peach AB. That's lovely. And then, and then I have a yellow, you can just see a little glimpse of that there, and a white. White is very commonly used in Diamond Art Club painting, so you've probably come across that one before. Um, And one more, what colour am I looking for? Green. There it is. So there is the green AB. Another very pretty one. There we go, so those are the colours and I think they look gorgeous. I see lots and lots of teal shades 
effect all around the outside here and then some bright oranges and pinks and purples and I just I love 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 that in a painting you'll have to let me know if you think it's worthwhile for me to kind of try and dig around in the bag and pull out some ABs and some other colors to show you like this I don't tend to prefer to get all of the drills out and go through them um, unless I'm doing something like a sneak peek just because it's it's hard for me to get them back in there again and I like to store all my paintings pretty much as they arrive to me but if it's something that you really want to see let me know and I'll, I'll absolutely happy to do that um, and equally if it's not really worth me digging around to just find a few little corners of bags of AB drills let me know that as well okay just going to roll my canvas back on itself to flatten it just in this strip here that's that is me <laughs> that is what I like I cannot for the life of me remember why I decided not to buy this painting when it first came out but I'm so glad it was restocked and I was able to pick it up so here he is here's Mr Whiskers he is so adorable I love cats I've mentioned before I mean the name of my channel is more of a, a, a nod to my my full name but I do love cats and so it's not a coincidence I went for that. Anything cat-like in a painting is, is, is likely to draw me in. And he is so, so sweet. I love his eyes and the way they pop out of this artwork. So, can you see the top? Not really, let me just pull that up so you can see the top bit as well. There you are. I will pan over it in a moment so you can see it all a bit more up close. I think this painting is stunning and I actually really like this this juxtaposition of how you're going to have this whole corner that's much much darker and you can see all the colors in there are very dark and then the light bright aquas and turquoises and teals up there oh gorgeous I quite like how there's almost sections of colour as well, like it, it's the black section and the teal and blue section and another teal section and a pink section and a purple section and then there's, there's splashes of those colours through the rest of it but they are quite confined if you like to certain areas. It might be a fun painting to work on um, more bit by bit, like I normally work in rows on my easel. Um, and it would actually be quite fun to be like, oh, what colour do I want to work with today? I want to work with teal. OK, I'll pick a teal section. Probably won't happen. But anyway, <laughs> I'm not seeing too much actual black. Black is going to be 310, which has the um, it's the white circle in, in a black background. And despite how dark this section is, a lot of that is going to be shading with what looks to be a lot of dark brown type colours. Not too much actual black. So that makes it a lot more interesting than if it was just a big block of black. And also, there's a lot of colour blocking in this painting. It's a good mixture, which is exactly what I look for. Confetti is the opposite of colour blocking. That's when you're changing, um, you're changing the drill colour in your tray very regularly. So if you look at little sections like this bit, um, some bits around here there's quite a lot of chopping and changing between colors that you're going to have to do to get through that section color blocking is where you have just a big block of one color kind of as the name suggests and if you look particularly around these edge bits there's quite a lot of that and what that means is that it goes a little bit quicker and that is nice in a painting I do find increasingly that if a painting is chock full of confetti and takes me ages I'm just a little bit more inclined to get bored and need to take regular breaks and it just becomes a lot more of a project to get through um, so increasingly I do really appreciate having patches of colour blocking in my painting so that I can just whiz through them in my with my multi-placer and just get to the enjoyment of a completion because it's not a race it's not about getting it done as quickly as possible but at the same time like we all love admiring a completed painting we've done right <laughs> so I am going to get the camera off my tripod and 
do you a proper close-up view of the painting and then when I've when I'm done with that I'm going to come back with the mystery painting so I will give you a warning at that point that that's what I'm doing but yeah just just forewarning you in case you aren't going to be wanting spoilers I almost forgot to have a look for where the ABs are. Um, so looking at the legend on the side, I'm looking for the codes one, two, three, four, five. So that's nice and easy. I see a little block of the green one here. And then through this section here, as I was saying before, this is very much blocks of color. So I don't think they're gonna be in surprising places. Um, two is the yellow AB. And where's that one? Here's some of it around here. Oh no, it's not the yellow AB, it's the peach AB. So here's some of it around here. And then over in this section, which is peachy pinky colors, there's quite a lot of the two that I see. Then number three is the purple one. And I'm gonna look at the purple area and lo and behold, here is some of the purple AB up there. I also see just little sections of it elsewhere, wherever there's some purple drills, there's, there's a few of those sprinkled in. Yellow is four and there's a few bits around here and up there amongst those peachy bits so that bit is going to glitter and there's some down here and a little bit up here and then five is the interesting one that's the white one because I see that's highlighting his whiskers beautiful but also it's just dotted around there's just little dots of that everywhere if you can see um, so there's just going to be little glints of sparkle throughout from those white ABs beautiful Okay, so I'm going to put him away and then when I come back to you, I'm going to start unboxing the mystery. It is the Abstract Ocean one by Mad Art Studios, um, if you didn't clock that at the beginning. So if that is one that you do not want to have spoiled for you, the rest of this video isn't going to be of so much interest to you and I'll say goodbye to you now. Um, but hopefully quite a few of you are going to stick around and have a look at the mystery kit with me because I'm really excited about this one. Here it is. And if you are a long time follower of my channel, or even not that long time, because I'm always chatting about this, <laughs> it will probably be no surprise to you why I've gone for this painting, because it's abstract. It says right there in the title. Um, and you can see from the colors in, in the little question mark thing, this is a bright painting. And if there are two big things that I go for in a painting, it is bright, bright colors and it's, you know, sort of abstract funky images. I just, I really like that. It's a square kit, as you can see from this branding here, and it's 70.7 by 55.8 centimeters. So a, another sort of medium painting, um, nothing that you would consider snack size, but equally not one of those giant ones that's gonna take two or three months to do. Whoops, okay. So, let me put my sticker on the side of the box. And because this is a mystery kit, Diamond Art Club puts this extra little leaflet in here just to let you know about what's going on with it. So basically what this is saying is that um, there are a limited number of each mystery kit canvas. They're always limited edition. And I believe that is still the case since Diamond Art Club stopped focusing on bringing limited edi editions out. And it asks that if you are working on a mystery kit, you do not share any spoilers of it in places like Diamond Art Club's group. Places where a lot of people might be who just do not want to see what that mystery kit is. It's fine for me to share this on my personal social media like I'm doing here. And of course, I've, I've warned 
to anyone who doesn't want spoilers that that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, but yeah, if you're working on a mystery kit, just please consider others and do not post pictures of it without warning. There are dedicated mystery groups where you can do that, where the people that are in those groups do want the, the spoilers, if you like, um, because for some of us, it's not about the mystery. It's about making sure that we get a kit that we like to work on and then enjoying the extra challenge of working on the black and white canvas. I personally need to really enjoy a piece of art to work on it. So it, for me, it would be pointless to get a kit that was a, a true mystery to me because if I didn't like it, I wouldn't really want to work on it. OK, so as I said, I'm not going to go through the toolkit. In case I forgot to mention this before, you will get tweezers in a square toolkit. That's the only main difference. And the, the items are probably like the applicator and comfort grip are likely a different colour. The cover minder and the washi tape will be different, but otherwise it's broadly speaking pretty similar. So let's take a look in here. I have seen a picture that someone has put up of the completed piece in one of the mystery um the mystery kit groups and oh my gosh i was so so glad that i bought this painting i think i would have been really sad if i hadn't because sometimes you do make a judgment call that you're not going to get a particular painting and it's just yeah you have regrets <laughs> a friend recently completed a different one i think it was the um the destination one i think it was called um and, well, oh, I can't tell you what was in it without giving you spoilers. But anyway, it, it was a fairly recent mystery kit that I decided not to get. And she's completed it and it's just gorgeous. I've been following her photos of it and, and feeling very jealous. So, yeah. Hi, if you're watching. <laughs> I know you've got a little bit of reciprocal jealousy over this one. So, <laughs> we're even. Okay, so all the same things. I've got this again in here. And... Here's my sticker sheet. So first things first, you'll notice obviously there's no colours. Um, everything on here is black and white. So there is no frame of reference for what these colours are. Um, 58 colours. So not tons for such a bright colourful piece. Um, I mean, it's plenty, isn't it? 58 colours gives you plenty of variety. Um, and there are three ABs, which I can tell because they have DMC codes under 150. No idea what these particular ones are. <laughs> I think one of those may possibly be a yellow, but yeah, I can't remember the codes that well. And this one down at the bottom here that starts with a Z, that is going to be a fairy dust drill. Diamond Art Club's fairly new, it's been a few months now, but fairly new type of special drill that has a glittery effect on top that is really, really cool. So let me put that aside and I'm going to have a peek at the colours. And I think with this one, I will actually get them out. Oh, look at that. Look at that colour palette. They are stunning. Yeah, I'm going to get them out and, and have a proper look um, because these are really the biggest indicator we've got of, of the, uh, the painting, I think. Okay, so... Look at these big fat bags of beautiful bright colours, the oranges and the pinks. <gasps> Sorry, I'm, I'm not doing a very good job of avoiding crinkling with this one. Oh my goodness. I don't think I have ever had one, two, three fat bags of one particular AB in a painting before. Goodness me. This painting is going to absolutely glisten. Wow. <laughs> oh, quite a lot of red and yellows. And oh, I just, I can't imagine ever getting bored working on a painting with all these bright colours. It makes such a difference to me. How, do you find the same thing? Does it matter to you what colours you're working on? I, I suppose we must all feel differently because some darker paintings that come out that maybe have a, a more limited colour palette are obviously very, very popular. Um, and often I admire the artwork with those, but just think I personally wouldn't enjoy working on that colour palette. The colours make such a difference to me. Okay, 
lots of this one. Oh, is that focusing? This camera loves to play with me and not focus on the things I want it to. Ooh, look at that one. I'm not sure if you can tell in the light I'm in because it's sort of dim in here, but it, that's got an almost neon effect, I would say. Here is the yellow AB. So you can see that one. Beautiful. There's another really bright red. <laughs> and not so many darker colours yet, because I've, I've just got to these ones, but I haven't really seen many darker colours yet. Teely blue colours, more pinks and reds. <gasps> Gorgeous! I've got a little strip here of some bigger bags of drills. Diamond Art Club arranges their strips of drills based on how big they are, how many drills are in the bags, rather than the DMC code. So that's why it looks a little random at times. So quite a lot of this one. And then 666 is like a really, really bright red. That one's always fun. And then the last strip of drills, so the, the drills that are smaller bags that there's not quite as much of, We've got some blues, some more darker colours. Some nice greens and pinks. Ah, here is the fairy dust drill. Can you see that? I'm worrying I've got the lighting all wrong in here, but I'm, I'm kind of, I'm committed now. <laughs> Most of the way through the video. But yeah, hopefully you can just about see the fairly subtle but very pretty glittery topping on that drill. There's another AB, a pink one. And then just on to the last few bags of drills that really don't have that much in them. These ones are just going to be used in bits of shading, I imagine. So, <laughs> there's all my drills. <gasps> Beautiful bright colours. I'm going to put this aside and start to look at the canvas. The artist, by the way, I'm not sure if I actually said, um, it was listed as both Mad Art Studios and Megan Duncanson. So I guess my, Megan Duncanson is an artist who works there. And I've had a few Mad Art Studios. I've, I've done, I think, one and I have one or two others and I find their paintings so fun. Okay. I'm going to roll it back on itself and show you and we'll see if there is anything that can actually be picked out because this is one of Diamond Art Club's newer mystery kits which as you can probably just about see already uh, they made some adjustments so the initial mystery kits came and they were just black and white and often when you enrolled it you could fairly easily make out details of the painting so they made some adjustments which I think were designed to both make it a bit harder to recognise what the picture was, but also because some people um, get a lot of eye strain and headaches looking at black and white canvas. The canvas is no longer black and white. It's it's actually got loads and loads of colours in, in, in it, um, but you have to go by the symbol. So if you look just on this section here, for instance, there's an L. I don't know if you can see, I'm, I'm hoping I'm going to find that I am focused when I look at this. You can see lots of L symbols and they've got different colour backgrounds. So whatever colour drill that L represents, you're going to put all of that colour drill on all of these L symbols, regardless of whether they've got a white background, a blue background, a pink background, an orange background and anything else that's going on here. Okay, here it is. Yeah, I can barely make out anything. <laughs> ah, but I'm looking in the viewfinder and you can see more in the viewfinder than you can see in person. Which is good, I suppose, if you're opening this kit and you don't want to find out what it is. Um, I don't know. I don't know that I would have any idea what I was looking at if I didn't already know the picture. Because I do know the picture, I can, I can pick out some details. Um, so I can see a big shape along here, which I happen to know what that is, and another shape up in this area. But then a lot of the details in the painting are fairly small, um, so they're not a big block of drills that you can, you can pull out a, a shape from. 
So yeah, if you buy a mystery kit from Diamond Art Club, this is the kind of thing you're going to be encountering. Um, all of the recent ones I think have had this kind of background rather than the black and white, but occasionally one seems to get released that still does have the black and white canvas. I'm not sure how, how that works, but just an FYI, um, if you think that's something that would matter to you, you can easily find out in the mystery Facebook groups, um, you know, just ask on there and someone will be able to tell you. Let's look at a close-up of this section here. So, yeah, you can see those orange dots go through it, breaking up any blocks that might give you the idea of a pattern or shape. I, don't, I, I haven't worked on a mystery canvas like this yet. The only mystery I've done was the black and white one. Um, so I'm curious how it's going to go. I found it... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? It was easier than I anticipated to adapt to the black and white canvas compared to a normal coloured canvas. So I'm hoping that I'll find the same thing. I know that people who've tried this style have, like me, been a little daunted just looking at it at the start, but have found that they adapted pretty easily. It's just a sort of different mindset, I suppose, to be chasing the symbol and zeroing in on the symbol rather than the colours. So, yeah. I can't wait. Having seen what the picture looks like, I am just so, so chuffed that I have this one. Wow. It's going to be a beauty. Okay. That is it from me today. I am off to sort some lunch before my husband and son get back. Um, my son's been off staying with his grandparents for a couple of days because it's half term here um, and they're just on their way back. So I'll be spending the afternoon with him. So I will love you and leave you. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider dropping a like on it. If you're not already a subscriber to the channel, I would love to have you join me here. But regardless, thank you for watching my video and I will hopefully see you again soon. Bye bye.